There's the temperature sensor, my first option, and then your thermostat's my second option. So this is how you would use your thermostat. First of all, place it in the bedroom that's supposed to be at. Leave it there for a few minutes without calibrating this just yet. I would say after maybe an hour, go ahead and tap on your temperature sensor. And then you're gonna see this. So see how right now, it's checking for the temperature in your dining room because that's my where my thermostat's at. Well, it's set up to 23. Right now, it's telling me that my bedroom's at 24.5, which again, since it's brand new, it's not really accurate because I was touching it. Later on, it's gonna calibrate a little bit more and it's gonna be more accurate. But anyways, the way that you would do this is that my thermostat is at that temperature. So where my thermostat is at is my dining room. So the temperature in my dining room is at 23, okay? So wherever your thermostat is, so it's not really your home temperature because it doesn't know your home temperature. You cannot know what temperature your basement is at, what temperature your attic is at, what temperature your, uh, if you have a second floor floor or a third floor, you cannot know that. You can only know the temperature where it's set up. And my thermostat is in my dining room. So that's the temperature in my dining room. So just don't get confused about that. It's not your home temperature, it is where it is. So right now, whether you guys want this to be warm or cooler, you can set up that temperature. So just tap on bedroom. You will see this, use the sensor for comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. So just press okay. So this means, let's say I go down to 22, 23. Let's just put out 23. So right now it's set up to 23, but I can make it go to, to let's say 24 or 24.5, which is right now, or 25. Actually, I don't want 25, <laughs> that's way too much. But anyways, let's say I wanted to keep at 23 instead of the 24.5 that's right now. So right now, what my furnace is gonna do, or, or if it's summer, your air conditioner is gonna bring it down to 23. And it's gonna do that. It's just gonna focus in on what temperature your bedroom's at, and it's gonna bring it down to 23. So it's not even gonna look at what temperature your dining room is at. Your dining room could go down to, let's say 20 degrees. Um, and it's gonna do that because it does that for the entire house, right? So it goes on, it cools everything down until that particular bedroom is at 23. Or again, if it's winter, it's gonna bring up the temperature to get it to that 23. And whatever temperature that other areas of the house are, then it cannot know that and it doesn't really care. It will just focus on that. So that's how you use this. It's to focus in on a certain bedroom and you can set it up for whatever time. So maybe at, you only care at nighttime, which is usually for most of you, that's what you're gonna do. So you can set up a schedule for it. Uh, for most of you, you do have that learning thermostat. So if you have it at learning, it's just gonna learn at what time you guys change it to your bedroom and then, and then whatever temperature you set up your thermostat at. So if you set up your temperature sensor to be at 23 or even 22.5 or 22, for that particular time, it's gonna learn that, and then slowly it's gonna change by itself, maybe at night time or morning time, whenever you like. And if you wanna make sure that that's actually happening, you can go into your gear icon on the top right hand corner, tap on it, and then from here you're gonna see auto schedule. Right now it's off for me because it's already set up, but if you wanted to learn what you're doing, just turn it back on. And then it's gonna learn what temperatures you like at what time, and it's gonna switch by itself. So it should switch to bedroom whenever I do that switch manually. So you manually do it at first, then it's gonna keep learning and then you will not need to do that. Or you can just go into manually set it up under your schedule and that's it. So you could do that as well, but the easiest way is to do an auto schedule. Just wanna note that my first option for home away assist is off. Um, that's in our case because there's always somebody home, but when we go on trips, I usually turn that on so it knows that we're not home and it will turn down the temperature so we can save up some gas. And same goes for cooling during the summer. We just let it go up a little bit more than what we are usually comfortable with. So we're saving up a little bit of electricity there. So that's how you guys can use this. And really it's only gonna make sense once you start using it because even maybe me trying to explain it won't make sense until you actually use it and set it up yourselves. But anyways, that would be it for this setup video. If you have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.